I've got the pleasure of talking to a lady who the Times said was bound for glory, singer-songwriter Lisby Stanton. Hello, Lisby. Hello. Very good of you to join us today. Thanks for having me. Um, now, uh, you're, um, you're currently um, planning uh, the start of a tour yes. to promote um, your latest album, which is called Word Games. Yeah, that's right. And that's your fourth album, yeah. isn't it? In, yeah. uh, in, in a career which uh, began, you were telling me earlier, at a very early age. Can you give us a little bit of background about uh, how, you, how you came to be uh, where you are today in the music business? Yeah, sure. Well, I started writing songs when I was about eight years old. And then when I was about 14, um, a music teacher of mine told me to go out and start gigging, so I did that. And then I found myself studying music at Goldsmiths in South East London when I was 18. And it's only then that I really thought, oh, hang on, I might try and do this as a career. Um, released my first album when I was 18, and, and it's just been that ever since, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, uh, you're now, uh, sorry to talk about your age, but you're, you're still only in your mid-twenties. Yeah. And so you've packed in quite a lot of experience in a short space of time. And, and yeah. how have you developed musically during that time, do you think? Oh, uh, massively, I think is the word. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. I mean, um, everything I've done, I've gained a huge amount of experience from and, and influence and, and inspiration. So. Um, it's one of the things I seek on a constant basis, just to get better and better as I go. So, fingers crossed, I've got a bit better. <laughs> and uh, you, this album, uh, Word Games, yeah. uh, is your fourth album. How does it differ, uh, perhaps, from some, some, some of your previous albums? Uh, Girl on an Unmade Bed and Go, the last two albums, weren't they? Uh, yeah, uh, Word Games is... Um, I set out for it to feel more, more organic and more more focused on the individual song as opposed to creating a, an album um, and I think we achieved that and I used uh, the musicians I used were fantastic on word games not that the other ones weren't in the other albums but it was a whole for me it felt like a whole other level and we really uh, myself and producers Miko Gordon and Rupert Christie we just worked, up, worked super hard to, to get it to the place we really wanted it so I'm really pleased with it. And um, you're, you're very much a multi-instrumentalist as well, aren't you? <laughs> um, sort of. I mean, I, I, I'm a guitarist and a vocalist. Those, I would say, are my core instruments. Um, but I do, I play the banjo and I now play the harmonium and the ukulele and, and a few others. So I, I, can, I can play other instruments, but I wouldn't go so far as calling myself a multi-instrumentalist just yet. <laughs> and, 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 and is it correct to say that you, you had a particular reason for learning to, to, to play the banjo uh, after getting involved with Seth Lightning? Yeah, so I um, supported Seth uh, in 2012 in Germany and he, before that tour, emailed me to say, would you like to sing some backing vocals on a couple of tracks. And he'd never met me before, so I thought that was putting quite a lot of faith into someone he'd never actually met. Um, but I got on stage with him and we sang, and it, it was amazing, it worked really, really well. Our voices gelled really well together. So at the end of the tour, he came up to me and said, listen, I'm doing a big concert hall tour in the UK at the end of October, uh, in October even, and uh, would you like to join the band for it? And do you play any other instruments aside from the guitar? And I said, well, no, not really. I mean, I play the ukulele, I play the flute very badly. Uh, he said, can you learn the banjo? So I said, yeah. <laughs> so I've learned the banjo. Uh, I play the banjo like a guitar, I'd say. I don't think, I'm, I fake it quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it difficult to, to, to go from uh, perhaps doing your own, uh, your own music and your own shows mm. to, to, to sort of, in effect, learning a new instrument and, and joining a band, if you like? How does that work? How do you make that transition? It's a very different, two very different things to do. I mean, when you're the front man and it's your music, it's, I, I guess the gigging is more pressurised. I guess you are because it's your face and your name that's, that's there in the front of things. You're very aware of that and you're very aware of everything on stage all the time. And, and that doesn't take away from the enjoyment. It's a different sort of excitement to playing on stage in someone else's band. I guess when you're, you're more of a co-performer for someone else, you are focusing more on making them look really, really good. and and but giving it your all at the same time in a different way. Does that make sense? <laughs> I, I, I think so, yeah. Your new single, yeah. Eloise. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Yeah, so that's one of the songs on the new album, Word Games, and uh, it's inspired by people you meet in life who... Um, always retain that sense of positivity but not only that whenever you meet them 
they make you feel positive and they've got that kind of air around them that, that makes everyone kind of happy to see them. And they're very rare and I only know a couple of them, so I kind of wrote that song about those people.